having my tea in England soon. I'll be moving to London. But what I'm doing is, I made the train wheels here. Do you remember those? My last video. Or maybe it was one. Uh, but I made these train wheels. And now I've decided to make a carriage. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to go about this. How I do the drawings. Oops, and then maybe you can make one. How does that sound? There we go. Yeah, I want to make this tin car. Now I'm going to be going through, like everybody, the ups and downs about how to get this graphic on. Or this. I've never done that, so we're going to go little by little. We're going to just start with the, the actual fabrication of it first. And this roof slides off, which is a good start. And what I did was I took an old cereal box and measured all the diameters and the fold marks. Now the fold marks are always dotted lines, and these are the details on the top of the on the top of the ribbing here. The little round ball, the, which it could be a wire and you know a cap for a cabinet screw, anything. They'll go on top afterwards. But there it is. All measured out, and as you can see, it will curve this way, there like that, and it will be fine. So that's my first drawing. And it's all ready to go, so that's going to be the roof. Now I'll start working on the others. I'm using a calipers, a straight edge, a pencil, and a felt pin, but you know, and I have a calipers here for measuring different parts and marking. So. Yeah, I want to uh, work out how to do the uh, colored for the siding. These are the three drawings I've done so far. Yeah, here's how I started out with these drawings that I showed you on the video and then the windows. But I was thinking about the lithograph and how am I going to do it. And so I took the train all apart. Look, there's all the pieces now. I still have the base to do. There's the wheels. And I flattened one side out, but then I realized I could just stencil that onto cardboard now for cutouts. Like this, see? And I have all the stencil there for the cart for one side and two sides, right? So there you go. The only other thing is the lithograph. Now I'm thinking of um, scanning this onto my computer and then redoing the color and then printing it maybe on self-adhesive um, self-adhesive clear plastic and then sticking it on the tin. Not too sure yet how I'm going to do that. Be a little different but it'd still work. Anyways I'm gonna go scan this and try it out. Yeah just gonna show you this section here the way I color it up. Again, because I got a close up now, and you just put the red in there, see? And if I'm really careful, I'll have a really nice stencil in the end, see? I got to add the black in. It's going to take me quite a while. But as you can see, it's all disappearing, all that bad coloring. And I'll do it here now. Right? You get a drift, see that? You can also take a square box and whip it in there so it protects the black. And just take your paintbrush in and you can whip it around without worrying because it only colors inside the box. There we go. But you can see what I'm getting at. And this is on a very close up at the moment. And there you go. Now let's get rid of the box. And there you can see the cleanup I have already done. I just got a whole pile more to do. And then when we zoom her out, they're not even going to hardly know. Look at that. So you can see in here, 
oops, I'm moving it, sorry. There you can see in there, we'll go down a bit smaller, so that's not original. There you can see in there where I've done it, on the page, a little bit up higher. There. You can see in here where I've already touched up a bit. Okay, so I'll do that with all the colors, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, so I've been at it about an hour. I'm still working on it. I've done a lot of the lower section here, and this is really uh, my most detailed piece I've done finished yet. Got to get rid of that cross there, I think, but it's beginning to look really nice. Yeah, I've been working on, on this section here, and I cleaned this up really well. I've got to get rid of that cross layover. I, I don't know exactly how, how that works there yet, but anyway, I've cleaned this up this section here as well. So we're beginning to get there and the black down in here but you know it's getting to be more detailed you can see the original here oh it's a bit too dark so anyways that's the train carriage like um, partly done it'll take me another couple of hours I'd say or maybe two days 